Every now and then you look at the camera and you just know that something's wrong. Well, I got a channeled message from my dad and I know exactly what the problem is and I'm gonna go fix it. Now that that task is completed, let's go back out into the garage where I'm converting it into a studio and we'll go through a couple of the boxes. I think I may be able to show you how my dad figures in all of this. Fishing equipment. What does fishing equipment have to do with cleaning up a garage and turning it into a studio? Well, this is some of the contents of one of the boxes or a few of the boxes that are on the floor, including some in the, these Penn International reels. Dad really liked the good fishing equipment. A little bit about my dad. My dad was a United States Marine. This is a picture that was taken of him in about 1956 in Detroit, Michigan. He was on recruiting duty. Prior to that, in the Korean War, he was injured, went to Japan, learned fluent Japanese, was then sent to San Diego where he became a drill instructor, met my mother, and my sister was born. Oh, let's call her my younger sister. That'll make her feel good if she watches this. And um, dad was an inspirational man. He became an electronics engineer, retired as an officer from, in the Marine Corps. He always believed, and I mean, he really practiced it in his life. If he wanted it, he pursued it with passion until he had it. If a failure would come along, he would just look at it and say, hey, try again. And that's the way he raised us. He told us, you can be anything you want. So when I hear someone tell me, you can't be both a real estate broker and do video because they're two separate fields, I look at him like, are you nuts? You obviously never met my father. When he retired, he became the president of the Orchid Society. How many Marines lecture on orchids at Kew Gardens. You can do anything you want to do. Now, this was a camera my dad bought me. This was one of the first Minolta underwater built for basically anybody's ability to buy, not professional. Um, and I liked it so much, I think I took one picture of it and tried it underwater just to prove that it could be done. I still have this. It has to be a 45 year old camera. To thank my dad and to maintain the inspiration of turning me into who I am, this is gonna get posted in the studio as a backdrop. And when I feel I either need to talk to my dad or I need to say something with some real power, I may just stand behind this. I wish you all the very best and let's go to the next episode. It's gotta be easier to do than going through the boxes of loved ones that have passed away. Thank you.